There are very few animals on the planet that can captivate and terrify you at the same time. Some of these include your big cats like lions, tigers, and jaguars. Others on the list could be Nile crocodiles or even something spooky like an anglerfish. But for a lot of people, the animal that leaves them the most captivated and terrified is sharks. Sharks are undoubtedly the kings of the oceans. Whether it's the classic great white shark, or a nurse shark, or even a whale shark. Sharks come in all shapes and sizes, and can be found in every ocean habitat. However, sharks face a worldwide threat of overfishing. Mostly for the shark fin trade, but also for cosmetic and health products. But why would a shark be killed here in the United States? Most people think that sharks are safe in US waters, but that isn't necessarily the truth. Today, we're going to be taking a deep look at shark fishing tournaments in the United States, what they're all about, and the ways in which they're conducted, as well as the misinformation spread about sharks. As a lot of you know, my documentary Sharks vs. Man just released over a month ago, and one section of it talked about shark fishing tournaments, but today we're going back over this topic. I wanted to make a video solely dedicated to this, and to help me out I even got some input from my personal idol and world-renowned cinematographer Jonathan Bird. But to start things off, a lot of people don't know that much about these tournaments, so let's go over the basics. Shark fishing tournaments are something that happen every single weekend throughout the summer in the United States. The point of these tournaments is usually to reward the fishermen with the largest or most sharks caught with cash prizes, trophies, and more. These tournaments have been going on for decades, and some annual events are nearly 100 years old. Some of the more popular ones include the Alabama Deep Sea Fishing Rodeo and the Monster Shark Tournament in New England. Recently, these tournaments have been making headlines, mostly due to the Jupiter Florida Tournament that happened in July. Now, we'll dive into that tournament later, but now let's go over the problems with these tournaments. While making this video, I almost wrote what are the pros and cons of these tournaments in my script, but I realized there are no pros to this. The fact is that sharks are by no means thriving in our oceans, as over 100 million are killed every single year. In a country like the United States, practices like this shouldn't be accepted. It kills me that we're, we're still doing this. You talk about barbaric. I, I went to, I was uh, hired to shoot a shark fishing tournament about 15 years ago for um, a documentary that was being made for a uh, National Geographic channel, I think. And uh, I, I just couldn't believe that we still do this. Like, you're a he-man because you went out in your boat and you caught a shark and you come back and you hang it up and weigh it and you win if it's the biggest shark and then they don't know what to do with the shark because nobody wants to eat the shark meat. So they cut the fins off and they sell those and they throw the thing dead away in a yeah. dumpster. Like, really? It's disgusting. It's hor It's revolting. Why do people do this? Now, shark fishing tournaments differ greatly from the fin trade. In a lot of those cases, the sharks are killed for food, and it's the only way for those fishermen to make any money. But when it comes to these tournaments, they're orchestrated for the sole purpose of killing sharks. Now, don't get, when I was a kid, I liked to go fishing. I liked, I, I, you know, at the local lake, I liked to catch a bass because I thought it was fun to try to catch a bass. I never caught much. I'm, I'm a terrible fisherman. I would always let the fish go because I don't want to eat the fish. I don't want to kill the fish. Yeah. I just wanted to take a picture, prove that I caught the fish. Look, I caught a fish and then I let it go and the fish goes back to its life. And I don't see why, we, if you got to do shark fishing tournaments, like if you really want to catch a shark, I could be I could be okay with it if it's catch and release fishing. If you're gonna let the shark go. Let's take a look at the Jupiter tournament that happened on July 9th, 2022. Fishermen began complaining that bull sharks were becoming overpopulated in the surrounding waters, causing them to lose a lot of their catches. In response, they organized a shark tournament. The goal? To knock down populations as much as possible. This tournament was protested for weeks and even garnered the attention of news outlets like NBC and CNN. However, the tournament 
movement still got underway with no consequences at all for those participating. The biggest problem with this tournament was the amount of misinformation being spread. What I witnessed was exactly what I expected. People excited to kill animals for no reason, <laughs> spreading lies about the number of sharks out there. Keep going. The fact is that sharks are not overpopulated, and the very premise of this tournament was wrong. However, there is something else that's overpopulated in Floridian waters, and that is the amount of boats. Florida now has over 1 million registered boats, and a lot of them are used for fishing, which is a reason for heightened interactions. Moving on, there's another problem that shark tournaments bring to light, and that is America's hatred towards sharks. If you're not a diver or shark enthusiast, then you probably fall under the common view that sharks are scary, bad, and a nuisance for our oceans. A lot of people look at sharks as unintelligent and dull, which couldn't be further from the truth. Um, I think that the, the people that are more afraid of sharks are the, the people that grew up with this, you know, this, the media telling us that they're bad. But younger people, you know, you take the average, uh, you know, the average 12 year old, hopefully 12 year old that hasn't already been scarred by seeing Jaws. Yeah. Um, and you know you show them all this stuff about sharks and they're not afraid of sharks they think they're cool yeah. like they they think sharks are cool i want to dive with sharks i want to see a shark and yeah. you know we just we just had in the news i don't know a couple of weeks ago and i didn't follow it very closely i only saw it briefly that somebody got bitten by a shark in the red sea this goes around the internet and you'll have all these people that'll be like see they're evil like and and the only thing i can say to that is how many people get bitten by their pet dog every day? Like, you know, if you hang around wild animals or even domesticated animals, you know, every once in a while there's going to be an accident. And you can't you can't look to one if one isolated event and say, "Oh, sharks are bad." I mean, come on. There are thousands of successful, fun, completely safe shark dives that are conducted every day, probably. I mean, certainly every week, all year around, all around the world. And these these shark dives show that sharks are just they're just fish, man. Yeah. The more people don't know about sharks, the more they'll accept these tournaments for what they are. The widespread fear and ignorance about sharks makes this problem so much worse. So how do we fix this? There's mainly two ways. The first one is just to get more people educated about sharks. But the second one is to ensure that these animals have a good representation in the news and on social media. Whether it's the classic blockbuster movie of Jaws or just a local news station, sharks haven't gotten the best rep over the years. Now this has gotten better recently, but there's still a long way to go. So before you became a certified diver, were you afraid of sharks at all? You know, probably, yeah. Um, I, I actually saw Jaws in the theater when it first came out. I was very little. I don't know which member of my family thought it was a good idea to take an eight-year-old to see Jaws. <laughs> Uh, it scared the crap out of me. Um, and I was terrified of the water for a long time. And uh, a lot of people don't realize that, um, you know, I was not a natural in the water. I was afraid of the water for a long time. And I was not, uh, I didn't take to the water quickly and I didn't learn to swim easily. And my parents had to really prod me to learn how to swim. The first time I dove with sharks, I was diving with um, blue sharks off Rhode Island. And, you know, I went diving with some friends that were going to go out with Captain Charlie and go see some blue sharks. And in fact, I, I found them really mesmerizing and, and gentle and curious. And that yeah. sort of began a lifelong obsession with trying to see how many different kinds of sharks I could swim with. Sharks have been around for over 400 million years. That's before trees even existed on our planet, and well before the time of the dinosaurs and even before the rings on Saturn were formed. They're vital for not only our oceans, but our planet. I've been fascinated with them since I was a little kid, and hopefully you're all able to walk away with newfound knowledge about these animals. Do you want to learn more about sharks, overfishing, and even hear more from Jonathan Bird? Go check out Sharks vs. Man on my channel now. And of course, subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome adventures.